Hello, today I'm at Stapleford Aerodrome and we're heading off on an hour building type trip up to the highlands of Scotland. I'm riding along with flight instructor James Lee from Buddies Aviation and private pilot Carl Miller who's booked him for some flight support. We're going to be spending three days in this Stapleford based PA28 exploring some of the best sights Great Britain has to offer. Clear prop. Stapleford Radio, Golf Bravo, Tango, Golf Yankee, requesting radio check and airfield information. Golf, Golf Yankee, Stapleford Radio, good morning. You're ready for five, throw eight, two, one left, left hand circuit, QNH 1024. James runs these long distance trips to help low hours pilots build confidence so that they don't lose interest in flying. People were doing the PPL, they would get the licence and then they would take their mum and dad up, then they would go down to headquarters and have a cup of tea and then the licence would often lapse. You know, they didn't have the uh, confidence to go any further. So that's why I sort of, sort of stepped in with people and I started offering flyouts and we picked up a lot of hour builders. So people who wanted to get useful hour building time as opposed to just flying circles around uh, a VOR in the southeast, you know, so building the time up, going up to Scotland, over to Europe, enjoying things mainly, learning things, pushing the boundaries, but ultimately having fun while they're building their hours. Airspeed's coming alive. 50. 60. That's it. Oh, some deer on the end of the runway. Uh, golf, golf, Yankee, to let you know there's some, uh, there's a couple of deer on the end of runway 2-1. Uh, golf, golf, Yankee, Roger, we'll get the flight back out, thanks. I first met James when I tagged along with him on a flyout three years ago and we ended up getting as far as Croatia. That trip has given me the confidence to explore further myself and provided a real reason for me to keep the licence valid. Unfortunately, because of COVID-19 restrictions at the time of filming, continental Europe is out of our reach, so we're going to be exploring somewhere closer to home. So today uh, we've done a trip to Scotland, uh, taking Carl Miller, uh, he uh, comes on with quite a few flyouts. Uh, we've been down to the Pyrenees, uh, I think we've been to Germany, yep. been to Germany. Uh, we tried to go to Ireland a couple of years ago and we got as far as, well we ended up going to Scotland and we got as far as Perth, but we got rained down so we had to come back the next day. So this is uh, second time lucky hopefully trying to get to Scotland. Carl, I did his, most of his PPL with him. Uh, and then introduced them to just getting out of the southeast over to Europe uh, and to a more exciting places. So today's trip, hopefully, we're just going a little bit further. Uh, hopefully, we'll be in Easter tonight near Inverness. The fuel tanks on the PA28 can hold about five hours of Avgas, which would probably get us all the way there if we could cross our legs long enough. But we're three lads, and full fuel would tip us over the maximum weight of the aeroplane, so pit stops are essential. Our first is Blackpool. Golf, Golf Yankee, runway 28, clear to land, surface between 260 degrees, 1, 2, and up. Clear to land, got runway 28, Golf Yankee. As far as James is concerned, any time on the ground is a waste of time, and so he chooses fuel stops like this that are efficient and hassle free. Okay, so we've just uh, put in some fuel. We've had a, well, I had a sandwich that I brought with me up from Stapleford. Food. Carl's just getting back in, having checked uh, oil and some such, and we're now going off to Cumbernauld. No time for sightseeing in Blackpool today. SP's coming alive. Good. Because I've come into flying late, I, I just want to make up for lost time. So I do I, I do a lot of instructing. But the other reason why I do the trips, I, I want to get out there and see as much as I can. You've got to make flying fun. You know, going to Sandown is great, but going to Sandown every weekend is not particularly interesting. You know, so we try and find new airfields. We try and find uh, always new places to go uh, and just constantly pushing the boundaries. You know, you've, you've got one shot at this life. Uh, so I'm just trying to get in as much as I can until, uh, 
that day comes where they say, unfortunately, Mr. Lee, you failed the medical. You lots of Paris tweets. <laughs> Golf, Golf Yankee, basic service, Cochrane is active, report change in frequency. Basic service, Cochrane is active, Golf, Golf Yankee. It's a bit grotty over there. A little bit. So we're making good uh, progress from Blackpool to Cumbernauld. First part of the journey just near the Lake District was a bit cloudy and uh, poor visibility, so we went round the coast. Um, Kern Davidson, I'm, I'm tweeting and Instagramming as I go, which is a novel, novelty for me. Kerr Davidson is um, somebody that works at uh, Cumbernauld Airport, and he says their, air, their cafe has opened today for the first time since 2019, so we can get a we can get a cup of coffee, chaps. Commodore Radio, Golf Bravo, Tango, Golf Yankee, inbound from the south, 10 miles to run, not requesting airport information. Tango, Jello Yankee, that's a copy, I've got one aircraft uh, to pump to the south. At this moment, no other traffic known. I'm using runway 25 right hand, QNH1021 for the QFE 1008. 25 right hand, QNH1021, QFE 1008, and copy the traffic, Golf, Golf Yankee. What you can do if you think you're coming in too quick because you have got a ground speed of 100 knots. Slow it down, get some flaps in if you want. Yeah, just slow it down. But yeah, that just slows everything down now, so you're not, you know, especially with that tailwind. Just gives you a little bit of breathing space now. A little bit of gentle braking. Nicely done. On the centre line, on filmed, all over YouTube. <laughs> Interesting approach into Cumbernauld. You don't see the aerodrome until you're approximately half a mile from it because there's a ridge um, from the south. But uh, Carl and James did well to find it, and uh, we're here now. And as we say, we understand that the cafe has opened for the first time since 2019. So we're going to go and see if we can sample that. But first, we've been asked to check our temperature as a COVID-19 precaution. <laughs> but the sensor was a little temperamental. Do we have to get really close to it now? You're supposed to touch it or? No. That's funny. <laughs> My tweets and Instagram posts have meant that the cafe staff are expecting us. Congratulations on your reopening. Oh, thank you, yes. <laughs> Today is the first day, I think. It is, yes, yeah. Uh -huh. Is that because of restrictions in...? Well, I actually, um, I opened a cafe just before the lockdown, um, just at the other end of the campsies, out at Clackenough Campsie, and uh, on Friday the 20th of March last year, and by 6pm that night I had to close my doors. So eventually we were allowed to open for takeaway, and we've been going from strength to strength, and then the opportunity came to take this over, so... This is me, first day. I'm slowly taking the world over, cafe by cafe. <laughs> golf, golf, Yankee, at Bravo, ready for departure. Yankee, that's a copy, no, we have to backtrack, line up, 25 for departure. Backtrack, line up, 25 for departure, golf, golf, Yankee. 55. That's it. Nicely done. Hold well up. Okay, so we are in the mountains of the Clan Gorms and uh, we're at 5,000 feet, heading towards Ben Nevis. It's really nice being up in the mountains and seeing different terrain. And uh, you have to treat it with respect. We've got uh, light winds today, but even still, 
a bit choppy. And uh, James is keeping an eye out for force landing sites, making sure that we've got somewhere we can go if we need to. But we're not going to contemplate that just this moment. We're just, in, we're just enjoying the view. Scotland is, is fantastic. It is the best flying you can have in the UK. Never gets boring flying down here. Oh, it's very pretty, isn't it? I've been up there possibly 20 plus times and every time I go up I discover something new. Uh, it's, it's just out of this world. The mountains, the scenery, the coastal, and the people and the airfields, they're all very, very relaxed airfields. That's it, just let it run. This was our final stop for the day after around six hours of flying. James hasn't always been a flight instructor. He started his flying training after leaving the British military. He served in Germany, Cyprus, Northern Ireland, Iraq and finally Afghanistan, where he was a staff sergeant in the Royal Logistic Corps. During the recent pandemic, when flying training had to be stopped, James published a book about his final six months as a movement controller. Licking the Taliban's flip-flop is the humorous tale of a small team led by James who loaded people and freight on aircraft in Kandahar, the practical jokes they played on each other and the threat they faced from the enemy. It was a serious situation that we were in and people who know me, I'm a little bit jokey, I'm always up for having a laugh and a giggle and I can always see the funny side of things. So. I just made observations when I was out there and this is what I've put in the book and some of it is, you know, it's, it's the military logic, uh, the humour, the things you do when you're out there because it is a total abnormal situation that you're in. Uh, you're there and you think everything's normal but then you realise you're sat in a room with a load of guys and everyone's armed to the teeth and the baddies are chucking rockets at you, at you every couple of days and you just sort of have that moment where you just think, this is just crazy. James says his military training has taught him to push the boundaries and not to take life too seriously, an attitude that serves him well today during his long flying tours. Coming alive. I enjoyed my tour of Scotland with James and Carl, thanks to them for letting me ride along. It has shown just how much can be achieved in a short space of time if you put your mind to it. The sky really is the limit. Golf, Golf Yankee, report your position. Uh, one mile to run to John O'Groats, Golf, Golf Yankee. Golf, Golf Yankee, roger. Report turning at John O'Groats. We'll go, Golf, Golf. Thank you for watching. Fly safely, my friends.